Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kimberly Joy, and I thank you for tuning in to the Kimberly Joy Show. Before I go any further, I have to begin with prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, you're awesome. You are amazing. You are wonderful. Huh? You are glorious. Hallelujah. You are magnificent. You are marvelous. You are holy, God. Hallelujah. I am honored to know you. I am honored to be called your daughter. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this broadcast. I thank you, God, for every man, every woman who is tuned in right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you in advance for their victory, God. I thank you, God, for meeting every one of their needs, God. I thank you, God, for answering their prayers, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for healing those, God, who are sick in their bodies, God. I thank you, God, for saving those, God, who are lost right now, God. But I thank you. And I'm believing, God, that by the end of this broadcast, that they will make the decision to pray the prayer of salvation. So I'm thanking you in advance, hallelujah, for their salvation, hallelujah, for their healing, for their deliverance. In the name of Jesus, amen, hallelujah. Well, first, I have a couple of announcements. The first one, Lady A Ward presents the Lady A Experience, and it's a free concert. And here at this concert, Lady A will be featuring her new single, My God, the Deliverer. Also at the concert will be guest artists from around the tri-state area, including Blessed, Niasia Lena, and Christian rap artist Guala. The concert will be hosted by Elizio Torres and yours truly, Kimberly Joy. On Saturday, December 1st at 6 p.m., doors open at 5.30. The concert will be held at Power and Faith Ministries, 7048 Fairfield Business Drive in Fairfield, 45014. Second announcement. Blessed and One Blessed Spirit present Worship in Winter Wonderland, a Christmas concert and dinner. It will be held Saturday, December 8th at 6 p.m. Ticket prices are $12 in advance and $15 at the door. For tickets, please call 513-903-0972 or you may contact me and I will provide my contact information at the end of the broadcast. This concert and dinner will also be at Power and Faith, 7048 Fairfield Business Drive in Fairfield, 45014. Well, yesterday was Thanksgiving and, and hopefully you all had, had a good day, a, a joyous day. Hopefully you got a chance to connect with your family members and just love on each other and just get some much needed rest. Now today is the day that society calls Black Friday. And so maybe many of you, if not all of you, are out shopping right now. Unless you're like me and you're not really into crowded malls. But whatever you're doing, whatever you have decided to do, be sure, always remember to rest, to take care of yourself, and most importantly, to give God thanks. We must always give God thanks. In fact, in the beginning, God made it clear that we must set aside time to rest and to give him thanks. In Genesis chapter two, verses one through three, it talks about how after God created the heavens and the earth and all the living creatures that he rested. Now, why did God rest? Was he tired? Huh? What, um, does he get tired? Does he get weary? No, he doesn't. God never gets tired. In fact, the Bible says that he doesn't sleep. He doesn't slumber. So why did he rest? He did it simply to set an example for us. And then later on, we see that he told the children of Israel, his people, that on the Sabbath day or the seventh day, the last day of the week, you are to rest from your work and worship me. Now today, many Christians like myself, we choose to worship God. We choose to set aside time to worship God, to come together and worship God on Sundays. And the reason being is because Sunday is the first day of the week, and the first day of the week is the day that Jesus rose from the dead. Leviticus chapter 23, verses 1 through 4 say this, The Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. These are the Lord's appointed festivals, which you are to proclaim as official days for holy assembly. You have six days each week for your ordinary work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath day of complete rest, an official day for holy assembly. 
It is the Lord's Sabbath day, and it must be observed wherever you live. Verse 4, in addition to the Sabbath, these are the Lord's appointed festivals, the official days for holy assembly that are to be celebrated at their proper times each year. Now, if we were to continue reading Leviticus chapter 23, we see where the different festivals that God established are listed. The Passover is one, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Feast of First Fruits, the Feast of Weeks or Pentecost, the Feast of Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, I don't have time to explain what each day represented or symbolized, but the bottom line is that God established these days, the Sabbath day and these additional special days to teach us the importance of setting aside time from our work, from our labor, and to honor him. Now today, we don't have to observe all these different religious holidays and rituals anymore. In fact, Colossians 2 and 16 says, don't let anyone condemn you for what you eat or drink or for not celebrating certain holy days or new moon ceremonies or Sabbaths. See, Jesus' death on the cross was the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. So now all we have to do is first confess our sins, according to 1 John 1 and 9, believe in Jesus, according to Romans 10 and 9, and allow the Holy Spirit to guide our lives every step of the way, according to Galatians 5 and 16. Again, those days were first put in place to teach us first and foremost, uh, my God, the importance of worshiping God. See, as human beings, if we're not careful, we can become distracted by various things. For instance, we can become distracted by our jobs, huh? by our families, by our duties, our different responsibilities, by issues that may come up, by problems that may arise. And so that's why it's important that we have that day, that day that we know that we're going to drop everything, oh my God, and come together with other believers and just worship God. And, and, and God, he, he deserves our worship. Amen. Why does God deserve our worship? Well, for one, he is God. He is our creator, hmm? our provider, our protector. God is our instructor. huh? He is our guide. God is our healer. He is our deliverer. Here's a final thought. There's a song that says, I don't want to sing the latest song. I don't want to percolate the crowd. I just want to make you God smile. I don't care who thinks I'm right or wrong. I don't care who tries to calm me down. I just want to praise you now. You covered me in the midst of it all. You loved me, gave me another chance. You saw my needs when others saw my faults. You, God, forgave me. As the lyrics state, there are so many reasons why we should give God the glory. But even if nothing special happens, we are to still honor him simply because he's God and he expects our worship. See, God loves it when we love on him. And as believers in Christ, we are not to just worship God one day of the week. No, but every day we should let God know how much he is appreciated. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. If you're ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe you shed your blood on the cross and died for my sins. I believe you were buried and rose again from my liberty. Please forgive me for my sins and the life I have lived. I confess you, Jesus, as Lord and accept you as my own personal Savior. Thank you, Lord. I am now saved. And that's it. I encourage you to attend a good Bible-believing church. It will help you grow spiritually. Now, you are more than welcome to visit our church, Power and Faith Ministries with Apostle Ron and Pastor Jerry Banks. We are at 7048 Fairfield Business Drive in Fairfield, 45014. Sunday School, 9 a.m. Sunday Service, 10 a.m. Wednesday Bible Study, 7 p.m. You can catch my show again on Saturdays at 6 p.m. You may donate to the Kimberly Joy Show on Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal.me slash The Kimberly Joy Show. 
for questions, comments, or prayer requests, please email me at thekimberlyjoyshow at gmail.com. You may follow The Kimberly Joy Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and thekimberlyjoy.com. My personal motto is know yourself, be yourself, love yourself. And now here's Dr. R.A. Vernon and the Word Church Praise Team with You Covered Me. <laughs> 